My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. Every single week we break down full UFC fight cards. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. And our videos are brought to you by Bet You Play to Earn. Bet You Play to Earn is the world's first play to earn sports and esports betting game. Check it out now at betyouearn.com. That's bet the letter U earn.com. And odds jam. Oddsjam.com has the fastest real-time data from all the sports books, and it helps you spot discrepancies and make sure that you hit your spots and get the best odds available for every single fight and every single sporting event. Check them out now at oddsjam.com. Next up at UFC Columbus, we have Chris Gutierrez taking on Danad Bagarai. Dana Bagarai is 12 and 2 overall, 4 and 1 in his last 5 with 3 knockout wins in a row. Chris Gutierrez is 17 and 3 overall, 4 0 oh, and 1 in his last 5 and he's coming off a split decision win over Felipe Calares. Dana Bagarai, he's a very good striker. He comes forward with volume, speed and power. His speed is definitely his biggest asset. If you look at his striking differential, he lands about 3 to 1. And he couples that speed with power, which makes him a legit threat on the feet. His takedown defense is just okay, but he does scramble really well to create openings and get back up. Chris Gutierrez is a very good kickboxer with great low kicks and very good cage control. He has really good volume and solid cardio to keep a pace. There are absolutely no secrets as to what his game plan is. He plots forward with leg kicks and straight punches right behind him. He has good takedown defense, which does allow him to stay standing and be pretty loose on his feet. I talked about Bagarai's striking differential, but Chris is also very impressive. He's a two-to-one striking differential, and this is a really fun striker versus striker matchup. Both are fast, but Danaz definitely has a speed advantage, but the best way to slow down your opponent in a striking match is to work the legs, and Chris works the legs really well. So right now, the odds sit with Danai, Dana as the favorite, and I totally understand that. Dana has incredible power. And the way Chris comes charging forward, it definitely sets him up to be knocked out. If he kicks that leg and then just comes running in and Dana's got that big power, that, that's just not, that's not an ideal game plan because he can get caught for sure. But he does have an incredible chain. He's got solid cardio. We've seen Chris have long, grueling fights. Dana is a first round fighter. I mean, he's only made it to the second round one time in five years. And that was a loss. I like Chris to stay durable, weather the early storm, and steal this fight in the second and third round. Betting-wise, this is probably a live bet fight. Just get through the first round. Dana will be a massive, ridiculous favorite. You'll get plus money on Chris Gutierrez, and then he'll take the next two rounds because Dana's a first-round fighter. What do you think, Jackie boy? Was your pick Chris? It sure was. Uh, do you want to bet? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Our normal 100? Well, 100, what, what are the odds? Plus 130. All right, 100 if I win, 50 if you win. Go ahead. Perfect. I accept those because I think this is uh, I think this is the, the typical fight that you see, and I mentioned it last week with the Dan Hooker, Arnold Allen. Some people are those next-level guys, and some people are just very, very good. Dan Hooker is a very, very good fighter, but he just really isn't that next-level guy. And when I look at these guys, Chris Gutierrez is a very, very good fighter. But you kind of have to have something to be that next level guy, right? And Chris Gutierrez is very, very good. But Dana is very, very good. And he's got that power, man. He has real, real power. And he has it in both hands. He can knock you out with a straight right with a little check left hook. And he throws an overhand right that he brings from his ankle. That's like the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. It's kind of like that, the Cody Garbrandt, like KO, when he just brought it all the way back. It's like that, but he throws it with such speed. People still don't even see it coming. It's, it's the wildest thing I've ever seen. I think Dana is just, is just that next level guy. And if you, met, you mentioned his, he's kind of a first runner bus guy, but one of his decision wins is in 2013 versus Kai Kara France, who's a very, very good striker in his own right. So he went toe to toe with Kai Kara France. Obviously, it was a long time ago, but it was a decision win. So he's a little bit tested in that regard. I prefer to see him just go ahead and finish it in the first round. I think there's an opportunity. Chris is going to give him an opportunity. I think the power is going to be there. He's going to have that speed. He's just going to beat Chris to the punch. Chris is very, very good. I think he's just going to beat him to the punch, have a little bit more power. 
get one of those padded knockouts. So this is one of those ones where I think the odds should be a little bit wider. I think Bakaral should be a two to one probably. And uh, he's probably going to be in my DraftKings. I already put him in uh, a, a ton of parlays as well. Jeez. I mean, and for he knocked a out guy... uh, he knocked out Guido too, who was uh, Mr. Lock of the Week. So if you're knocking out my Lock of the Week, I mean, Jesus Christ, the guy's got real power. Man, I get it. I get it. it wasn't an easy pick for me to make. I'm I'm really just relying on Chris Gutierrez's chin and durability in the first round, and then once it gets out of the first, I think he's good to go. So, uh, yeah, we both agree. Dana's super dangerous. I just don't think he's dangerous enough, which I guess we'll find out what happens when I have $100 Venmo me. Um, on Saturday, DraftKings, 77 85 pick your side. I think they're pro, both priced really well, right? I mean, 8500 is a great price for a guy that you think is going to get a first-round stoppage. 7700 is for a great, a, a great price for a guy that I think takes a decision win or potentially a very late stoppage because Dana will be exhausted. I mean, $8,500 for a guy that has his last five wins are all first-round stoppages. Is I don't know how you don't put him in your DraftKings lineup. I, I actually agree. I, I think he loses, but I agree with I completely agree with that because if Denat Bagarai wins by first-round stoppage, I'm not going to be shocked. I mean, that's what that guy does. My, my pick is Chris to weather that storm, but he may not weather it. And that's what I actually think, honestly, betting-wise— I wouldn't have made Dana a parlay piece. I would just take whatever money I was prepared to do that with and live bet. If he starts dropping Chris, then you're not going to get the best odds, but hammer it because you're good. If he's starting to slow down, it gets out of the first, and he's a massive favorite, then I'm going on Chris big time. So anyway, DraftKings, um, we both agree. Fight breakdown, we pretty much agree different picks. Total strikes is an interesting one because I think it goes longer than shorter. I don't think we have an early stoppage here. So I'm thinking it's more, more, but 68 is actually kind of high for Dana. So I'm thinking it's a more or less situation. What do you think? Um, just arguing. Somebody's trying to like trash Guido in the, in the chat saying is a losing record. Just, uh, just on, just on disrespect. What was your question? Okay. Was that more or less? Yeah. You think less. I think, less it's, I, I, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's a, yeah, I think it's a less, less. Well, guys, pick your side. That's our breakdown. We don't tell you what to do. We just tell you what we think. Pick your side and go ahead and play those strike lines at Monkey Knife Fight. Go to weonpicks.com slash MKF Daily Fantasy. It's super easy. It's a ton of fun. Nothing sketchy about it. Weonpicks.com slash MKF. They will instantly match your deposit. And if you want 50 bucks to deposit, go to weonpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five online betting partners Make a deposit with them through our link, and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you for supporting us and our partners.